local weather with the KX News Storm Team. It's 616. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota on your Tuesday morning. I had to think about that for a moment. <laughs> but uh, we had a great day yesterday, mm -hmm. and it uh, sounds like maybe another day to enjoy before the big S word. Well, <laughs> but listen, the big listen, S word, the big S word listen, that will not need the other S word as in shovel. Yeah, don't even like what the, about the <laughs> little S word scraper. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 guys, no. come on. Like, let's just, I'll just tell you about the forecast and then you can make yeah, your own decision right? here. Uh, let's talk about some rain that we have on the radar this morning. It's in central and eastern North Dakota, some scattered rain showers. Uh, and then we've got a few small embedded thunderstorms in with this as well. Uh, this is going to push out of here this afternoon. We could see an isolated storm this afternoon. So that's not out of the question. Uh, a little rain moving through, uh, say, the Esmond and Rugby area up towards Botno as well this morning. Uh, but generally, a lot of us are going to get a chance at some sunshine later today. Mid 60s to mid 70s for those afternoon highs. And winds are going to be out of the south and the west at around 10 to 15. Here are your temperatures this morning. A lot of 40s, a lot of 50s. And then we've got some light winds out of the southeast at around 10 to 15. But as a front pushes through, we'll see the wind direction change and become westerly. Here's a snapshot at 3 p.m. You'll see here that uh, we'll have a southerly wind uh, here in central North Dakota and then a westerly wind off towards the west. But the winds generally will stay around that 10 to 15 mile per hour range. Here are those highs, a lot of 70s, some 60s off towards the east here, even some upper 70s around the Mondak region. It's going to be another warm day. So the models are picking up on these showers and thunderstorms as they push out of here later this morning. We'll keep an isolated chance for some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, but a lot of us get a chance to see a little sun. We'll see the clouds slowly decrease probably around the time the sun sets there in central North Dakota. We'll head into Wednesday more than likely seeing high thin clouds allowing for some filtered sun, a small chance for some showers uh, and some small thunderstorms around the Minot area by midday. But nothing at this point is going to be widespread. It's going to be very hit or miss. Highs tomorrow will be a little cooler. Lots of uh, 60s here, some 70s in the south. Thursday is when we're going to feel a bigger difference. A lot of 50s for daytime highs. And once we get into Friday, we'll see a lot of 40s for daytime highs. So that is our cooling trend. The reason why is we've got this trough that's going to be moving through the state and it's going to be ushering in this low pressure system. And when that happens, that usually ushers in some colder air from the north. This changes over a rain to a rain snow mix. So we could see in northwest North Dakota, uh, maybe around Williston or so, some snow accumulate on some of the grassy areas and then it's gone through the day. It's that what I call designer snow. It's here and then it's gone. So it's pretty for a second and then it's out of here. Uh, that's basically what we're going to be seeing into Friday because the temperatures are going to be back into the upper 40s. During, through the afternoon on Friday. That's just not going to sustain any snow if it does fall overnight. Here's the forecast in Dickinson, uh, upper 60s to mid 50s there. There's the cooling trend. Here's your Williston three day forecast, upper 60s to around 60 on Thursday. And then once we get into Friday, that's our coldest day of the week. And you'll notice that the overnight low into Friday night is pretty cold as well. A lot of low to mid 30s. So we may be talking freeze warnings, possibly free frost advisories. We are, however, uh, we are, I should say, officially in the growing season. We're starting to see some leaves on the trees, some buds out there. So uh, that means that we'll be getting frost advisories and freeze warnings from the Weather Service now. Uh, and I do anticipate that for the end of the week with this cool down that we have, a rebound as we head through the weekend and into next week. I have a lot of trees in my backyard, and at some point last week it had rained, and then the next day it was just green. Mm -hmm. I know it's been beautiful watching things green up this year, and that's not what we saw the last couple of years. So yeah. the rain has been certainly helpful. Big difference. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Amber. And keep it with us here this morning on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead, local athletes faced off for a chance to qualify for state.